in Parashat Hazriya Mitzorah, one of the main things it talks about is Sarat. Like we know how you get Sarat. Either there's a white spot on your skin and you grow the two white hairs, or there is raw skin. So in the, in the Gemara, the Gemara has a question. What, what if, what if you have you got Tarat and it's Yom Tov? So there's two opinions. One opinion holds that don't you don't go to the Kohen to make sure it's uh, good. You have to wait till after the holiday. The other opinion holds you go to the Kohen. And the coin's gonna tell you. Go. Um. I'll see you after. I'll see you ne- like later. So. So the thing here is, when. It's this is teaching us. That when you when the kohen has the power. To make it if you're tame or tahod. So, if it's on Yom Tov and the Kohen doesn't say anything, you don't go to the Kohen even. You're Tahod. Why are you Tahod? Because the Kohen never said you're Tamir. Even if he never checked. So, this teaches us about a big lesson. This teaches us when our mouth has a big effect in life. It can, it can, you can use your mouth for the good or for the bad. Uh, like when you use your mouth for the bad, it's like, it's like an arrow coming out of your mouth, let's say. It's like you're shooting an arrow at someone. But the more, the worst part is, it can't miss. Once someone hears it, that's it. It's, if it stays in him, He's gonna he's gonna feel pain and it's not gonna be good. He's gonna feel pain pain for the rest of his life. It's you have to make sure our mouth is always clean. We don't say Lashwanara. Same here like the Kohen. The Kohen as if we don't go to the Kohen and he never says it's Tame then Tahor. No matter what. So now, let's go to another um, case. So, how do you get Miss? How do you get Tara on your house? How do you get it on your house? So, let's say there's some. You used to a boy used to own that house that you're gonna move in soon. So this boy, he's um he's gonna sell it to you and everything, right? So the boy before he sold it, sold it to you. What did he have in mind when he bought the house at first? I'm gonna use it for avodah zara, and that's how you'll see sarat on your house. And we go, so when you go and buy it, there's sarat on it because it was the intent, the intention is to use it for Abu Dazara. And that's not good. So it's teaching us that when the sarat was there, break the house, break it and rebuild it. And once you rebuild it, make sure you have in mind. You're gonna oh you're gonna make berachot in this house. You're gonna sleep in this house. You're gonna learn in this house. This is that's what it's teaching us. When you when about the house if there's sarat on the house. Now, now let's go over halacha. Let's say one has um all over him. Not one tiny spot left. They're all very, he's very white everywhere, all over his body. Automatically, 
he's towered. So, if there's even if there's one tiny, t tiny piece, then if there's a tiny piece that's not covered, then you can't. It's already tame. So, there's also another halacha. Let's say someone he has harat. But we can't tell if he really has it or not. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. So what's all, uh, what do you do in this case? You go over to Kohen. The Kohen is going to tell you. You show him the place you have Sarat. And then Sarat. So the, so the Kohen is going to tell you if you if there's no, no no one of the two signs. Whether you grow the hair, the white hair, or the, the skin. He's going to tell you, wait a week in this house. Why is he going to tell you this? Just in case if you're Tameh, automatically. So you're going to be in this house by yourself. Make sure no one's going to be able to touch you. And if someone does end up coming next to you, you have to make sure you tell them that you're Tameh. So, I know, so let's say he goes back after a week. And the Kohen... He goes back to him, checks it again after a week. It's still never, it's never growing. There's nothing, no sign. So, then, you wait another week, second time. It's two weeks so far. Go over, then, the, now, the second week comes, third week, now you go, the coin comes again. And still nothing's going, you do it won't you do it again. That's the last time. Now if someone it's not nothing's growing. So then you're you're good, you're okay. And it's a very it's a very sad thing because we don't have Sarat anymore. Because we lost Harat. We lost this when we're not on such a high level anymore. That's why we're not we're not worthy enough to know if we're gonna if we did certain avirot or not. So Bizrat Hashem, when the in the time Mashiach, we'll get Sarat back, and we'll make sure our mouth is always clean. Also make sure. There's no Abu Dazara, no intention for Abu Dazara in our house. We'll make sure that we don't speak bad. And we'll, be con we'll continue and continue getting closer to Hashem.